Now, we are going to study about the muscles of the eyeball. The muscles of the eyeball are of two types. The ones that are present superficial on the outside of the eye are called the extrinsic muscles of the eye. And the ones which are present a little deep or on the inner side are called the intrinsic muscles of the eye. The outer part are called as extrinsic muscles, basically are of the following type. You have number one, this muscle, this one. This is called the superior, obl uh, oh sorry, this one, right. This is called the superior rectus muscle. This is the inferior rectus muscle. This one is the lateral rectus muscle. Then you will have the medial rectus muscle present here. This is the medial rectus muscle. Here, this top one, this is called as uh, your superior oblique muscle, and this is the inferior oblique muscle. These all are your extrinsic muscles of the eye. Now, this one, this muscle that is the superior rectus muscle, you can see that this muscle is going to originate from this common ring that is called as the tendinous ring. And this is present just behind that of the orbital cavity. So originating from the tendinous ring on the posterior part or the posterior pole of the orbital cavity is where the muscle are arising. That is the superior rectus muscle. Then it is going to go and insert. You can see that it is going to go and be attached to this. That is the superior part of the eyeball. Right? Then you see this one that is the inferior rectus muscle. This is also going to go and originate from the tendinous ring on the posterior surface or the posterior wall of the orbital region and is going to go and be inserted to the inferior part of the eyeball. Then you have the lateral rectus muscle originating from the tendinous ring on the posterior surface of the orbital cavity and is going to go and insert on the lateral surface of the eyeball. Then the medial rectus muscle, it is going to go and originate from the tendinous ring on the posterior surface of the orbital region and going to go and be attached to the medial surface of the eyeball. Then you have the superior oblique muscle. It is going to be originating not from this ring but from the posterior surface of the eyeball and this is going to go and be inserted to the superior surface of the eyeball beneath. You can see that this one, you see, it is being inserted to the superior surface of the eyeball but deep to or beneath that of the superior rectus muscle. Then you have the inferior oblique muscle. This is going to be originating from here. That is the floor of the orbital cavity. And this is going to go and be inserted to the infilateral surface of this eyeball deep to that of the lateral rectus muscle. Right? Okay. Now the nerve supply. Nerve supplies they have shown you here that you can see that the superior rectus muscle, the middle rectus muscle, the inferior rectus muscle, the inferior oblique muscle, all of them, they are supplied by your third cranial nerve, that is your nerve that is the oculomotor nerve. And your lateral rectus muscle, this is supplied by your abducent nerve, that is the cranial nerve number 6. And you have this upper, that is the superior oblique muscle, that is supplied by your trochlear nerve. That was their nerve supply. Now what is their actions? Let's study about their actions here. They have explained to you very well in your snout. This is the superior rectus muscle. This is going to rotate the eyeball so that your cornea, that is going to move in the upper direction and in the medial direction. Inferior rectus, it is going to rotate your eyeball so this cornea, it will look in the downward direction and in the medial direction. Then you have the medial rectus muscle. It is rotating your eyeball so that this cornea, it will look in the medial direction. The lateral rectus muscle, it is going to rotate your eyeball in such a way that your cornea, it will look in the lateral direction. Then your superior oblique muscle, it will rotate the eyeball in such a way that this cornea, it will look in the downward direction and the lateral direction. And your inferior oblique, it will cause the cornea to rotate, in, eyeball to rotate in such a way yet that your cornea will look upward and medial. Okay? That was for their action. Now the intrinsic muscles which are present deep to it are of three types. 
You have number one, that is uh, your sphincter pupilla of iris. Then you have number two, that is basically, so they are basically present in this region. That is this iris and pupil region is your muscles attached, which are your uh, sphincter pupilla of iris, dilator pupilla of iris, and your ciliary muscles. The sphincter pupilla of the iris and your ciliary muscles, these ones, they are parasympathetic in nature, and your dilator ones are sympathetic. So whenever a body is in stress, your dilator pupilla of iris will cause contraction and that your eyeball will shrink and will become narrow inside. So that will be your uh, dilation of the pupil. Whereas your uh, sphincter pupillar virus and your ciliary muscles, they are parasympathetic in action when a body is relaxed. They will cause your constrictions of the pupils. Right? And your ciliary muscles, what is their function? That whenever there's a combination, whenever you want to read, you want to focus on something, it will cause the lens to sh change its shape so that your light rays can fall from the lens and you can focus on the object you objects right now you have that in your eyes you come to know that above these eyes you have these tiny hairs those are your eyelids right that is covering these one not sorry those are the eyelashes above this eye you have this area that is called as the eyelid present on the eyelid you have two muscles one is called as the orbicularis orbiti and number two is called as this muscle which is shown to you here this one this one. This is the levator palpebri uh, superioris. So it is from the levator palpebri and superioris muscle. And this is originating from the back. So on the back side of the orbital cavity is the superior uh, levator palpebri superioris muscle. And this is going to go and be attached to the anterior surface and the upper margin of the superior tarsus plate. So it is originating from this back of the orbital cavity. It will go to be attached to the front and the upper margin of the plate of the superior tarsus. And it's supplied by your two types of muscles. There are, if they are striated muscles, they are skeleton, they are the oculomotor nerve. And if they are smoothly, they are the sympathetic. And this is going to cause your eyelids to move upward. All right? That was all for the muscles of the eyelid and eyebrow. Hope the orbit region will be easy by seeing the videos. And if you guys have any questions, do leave it in the comment box. And for more videos, like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.